Hey everybody, Nerd Transformed here again, and today I'm reviewing the Transformers Energon Deluxe Class Steam Hammer. Now I did re previously just review Barricade, just uh, what, like three days ago, something like that. And I thought I'd go ahead and take a look at the other one, Steam Hammer. Uh, do you not have any of your Constructed Cons to compare them to? If you don't know, Steam Hammer here is the leader of the uh, Constructed Con team, who of course form, uh, what's he called, Devastator Maximus or Constructions Maximus, something like that. It's usually something Maximus, so some weird name. But you see here he's kind of a steam shovel kind of thing, you know. Got the big arm here. Uh, he's a very odd looking one. Like Energon, you did have some weird looking vehicles, but this is very weird for even for Energon. This is almost kind of what Transformers animated constructed cons look like. It's a very odd looking one. I'm sure there's probably one in real life that looks like this, but I gotta say for Ener even for Energon standards, this is a very weird looking vehicle mode. Um, you can see at the front, it's actually got like a big split down the middle, too. I mean, it's kind of just crammed together. It looks especially weird since the uh, treads are kind of up here when most of the time when I think of these kind of things, I think of them back here. But yeah, they pig in at the front there. Uh, for uh, I don't have any of his minions, his uh, limb configure figures that go for with him for his combined mode. But just for size comparison, here he is with Scout Class uh, Strong Arm. And for a modern comparison, here he is with Legends Brawn. Let's see, let's get these three of these guys lined up actually. You can see, you know, about the look size if you expect. He does have his uh, Energon Crystal Star holder thing right here on the front of his shovel. You can see a nice little Decepticon symbol in there. It's actually upside up, unlike uh, Barricade. Uh, you do got this little symbol here that Energon figures usually have, I'm not sure why. Uh, not too much else. You get some minicon ports up here if you want to attach a minicon, which might be useful since you could put one like right there for a rocket launcher or something. And yeah, one of the big bolts for the combined mode is like right there. It fit the others pretty well actually. It's just that one right there. It's just kind of sticking off. But yeah, that's uh, his basic vehicle mode look. Uh, it's got some nice paint. Like you got some orange for the windows. You got some black and purple up here that will form the legs. The treads are actually done up in silver, which is really nice. You don't see it too much anymore. And the front of the shovel's got a lot of silver metallic paint done up on the front and outside. Nothing on the inside, though. And on the bottom of it, the pistons are um, detailed in. They don't, they're not actual pistons, they don't move or anything, but they're just detailed in there. But they are painted in the same silver metallic and a little bit green. And you do get a little bit of silver on the sides of the outer arm here. So that's pretty nice. And for this mode, he does have articulation technically, so, you know, you spin all the way around between the treads and the cab. I do gotta watch out when you pick up this figure though, because this panel right here, under my treads, at least on my, covers up the robot head. It's pretty loose, does not stay on at all. And then uh, pretty much all the rest of articulations in the arm, you know, you do get swivel up and down. You could use this panel to go out this way and swivel it left and right. Uh, I do get a swivel right here. Um, there's a hinge right here. It does bend in pretty far. I mean, you can have it real up close like that. Or up like this. You also get a hinge at the end here. And you get a hinge on the inside of the shovel where you know you can scoop up some dirt and then you can have the dirt released by opening up this part. Also kind of makes it look like he got a big beak bird or something. Like, you know, like the little hinge here is the eye and you know, wah, 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 wah. Now you'll never be able to see that. Or you can like, have a big Cyclops thing going on here and have his own mouth block his face. That's just me being weird. Oh yeah, this cab is supposed to peg in it. doesn't stay tabbed in around the leg very well and this legs don't... This whole, this whole thing doesn't hold the gear the best. It's very much just hold the gear with panels. So, let's get to his robot mode. Let's start, take the cab, unpeg it. Go ahead and take the arm, go ahead and get out of the way. Come over here to these bottom parts, you're going to want to unpeg it and flip up the panels. Same over here, it's very tight. Unbidden the leg. Out like that. Then this whole piece right here, this whole piece where these little gray panels are, it's just going to fold out like that. You can see you start seeing the front of the robot basically start building. Swivel these little parts that we had to unpick tab around you can see the, what was the top or now the front of the legs flip out on these for his uh, little panels for his feet take these oh, actually not these panels yet you're gonna actually want to take these treads 
go ahead and swivel it around and, and pig it back in then you set it back down take these gray panels fold them up to kind of help lock it all together bring this green panel down to put show the head flip it up into place not sure how well you can see it but you know head folds up right there take this part of the cab still attached to it was hidden under the legs here just flip it out cab will fold up out of the way like that point it down take the arm just fold into place take this piece panel go in place there and just bring the arm down and there you finally have steam hammer his robot mode Transformation is not quite as complex as I just made it look, but it's a, there's a lot of small stuff going on, if you know what I mean, and the camera's not on the focus. There we go. A lot of small stuff going on. Alright, now that we got Steam Hammer in his robot mode, let's go get size comparisons out of the way. Here he's next to Scout Class uh, Strongarm, this is about the same size as limb figures would be. Here he's next to Brawn. I don't have the rest of the figures just because honestly the combined modes don't look that good and for Energon they reused two of the molds twice like in every in every combined form for all the aerial bots for the Constructicons for the uh, for Bruticus Maximus it was all the same thing where it was like two you had like two new figures and you had a, another set of the same two figures that were the same figure you know same mold just different colors and it just didn't work for me. In this mode, you can see a lot of nice detail. You know, the chest is really nicely detailed and painted with little um, bits of red for each of these little missile. Not even missile pieces, just like little lights, I guess, maybe. Uh, the chest plate itself is painted in a nice metallic purple. There's even little bits of silver on the inside, which is really nice. Really small details like that. Uh, you got some silver pieces here, which kind of looks similar to like a grill for a truck. Nice big Decepticon symbol here, too. Painted in purple and surrounded by white. Looks really nice. Uh, there's the black and the purple on the shins and the bottom of the legs that I mentioned before, and it looks really nice here. Um, still got the paint here on the arm from the construction mode, and also on the shoulder here, you got a little bit of silver. The face itself is done in uh, some orange paint. I don't think there's any light, well there is light piping, but uh, yeah, it doesn't work too well. It's supposed to have like a blue visor, but I just try it with a window. It doesn't work too well. I'm sure if I had like a little laser pen, maybe it would work better, but eh, it's only okay. But a lot of the paint details are focused in on the chest plate here, and I still think the legs look really nice here. So yeah, I really miss this. I don't really like this figure. I'll be honest, this figure is not the best, but I do miss a lot of the aesthetics of Energon, like the heavy detail and a lot of the nice paint that they got back then. Because they rely a lot on plastic colors now. Like if we get Skull Cruncher, who's got all this pink and green and gray, it's all plastic really. And that's about it, really. Pretty nice detail, pretty nice looking thing. Um, he does have this uh, asymmetry thing going on. His arms are, you know, two different arms. You got a normal arm, they get the big claw arm, and even the shoulders, a different piece, you know. And uh, might not be for everybody. I think it's a pretty cool aesthetic. I like when they actually use the the crane arm for the, I guess, shovel arm for something. Makes for a pretty cool look. Uh, articulation wise, I think the head swivels. Uh, I'm gonna have to really get in there. Yeah, it swivels, but it doesn't really move much. Why don't I flip it back? Nope. I can feel it trying to swivel, but this is too much of a blockhead between his treads. Um, arm does swivel though. Arm goes outward. Swivel bullet just above the elbow. Got a double elbow in this arm. I'm gonna show up for this too. It's using the same articulation it had in the, the shovel mode. Swivel. Outward, swivel right above here. You got an elbow that goes this far forward this way. And if you swivel it the other way, you got an elbow that goes that this far forward. So about 90 degrees here, a little bit more, almost a double elbow here. And still got the hinge, you still got the opening piece on the shovel itself. So, uh, waist, you do get a waist swivel. Uh, there is ratchets in the hips that go forward and back. Ratchets outward too. Get a swivel right below those. Really, not knees not ratchet, but it is a very hard to move knee, so it's pretty nice. So yeah, here she's really good articulation, much like Barricade. Like I said, the aesthetic is not going to be for everybody for both of these figures. Uh, personally, I really like Barricade, but I don't really like Steam Hammer here too much. I like the detail on him, but something about the face and the just overall look he has just doesn't work perfectly for me. 
If I have any symmetry, just, I don't know, something just feels off about him. Plus, I don't really like his transformation too much. His vehicle mode doesn't look that good, and his transformation is only okay. But he does have a third form. He does have his uh, Construction Maximus uh, center of the body, you know. So, go ahead and take the head, flip it back into there. And I prefer to go ahead and take the treads and flip them around, so that way this little panel isn't still popping open. It still fits on there the same way, just put, keeps this panel from falling open. Go ahead and take these panels and flip them down. Oh, let's see, the legs. Go ahead and just have them kind of collapsed in on themselves. Now let the little bolt come out for the, uh, whatchamacallit, the combined mode. There we go. Now we have the little combiner ports. Uh, actually, I'm going to break this open because the arms are actually going to collapse in. Like so. And then this arm is going to collapse up like this. And it'll actually peg like that. You basically just want to get these where get these little bolts stick out the sides like that. Same with this side. Just collapse the arm in. Make sure you flip the little cab part up. The rest of the arm will just kind of, the panel will fold in, then the arm will fold up on its elbow. And you just gotta get it lined up to where it can pick in. And make sure you don't pick into the screw all by accident. Take the cab and turn it. And you're gonna move the double hinge till it kind of sits right there. Then you're gonna bring this whole part back, the whole torso part. And there is a peg hole in the bottom of these little strut here. And that gray piece will pick in right there. Peg hole right above the treads, it'll pig in right there. I'll lock the treads to the back of the combine mode. Finally, take the cab, flip it open, and there's Construction Maximus's face. Pretty nice face, too. And I really, this is the part that kind of shines for me. It is one of those things where, like, the vehicle mode suffers and the robot mode suffers a little bit for this combined mode. But I gotta say, this is actually a pretty nice looking combined mode. I don't really care too much for the head. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but it's kind of got this boxy thing going on. I know I know uh, Motor Master has a similar thing, but Minasaur doesn't have that. So I don't really like that. He's had it stuck with these little panels that all stuck around his head. And it looks really weird. I actually do kind of like having the shovel up here because it makes it look like he has a big shoulder guard going on. You can even fold it down. And you also got some like side hinge guards. You can also fold these up and leave them up here if you want, but I like leaving them down. And as far as articulation he has in this mode, it's pretty much the same as before. His head actually can swivel despite having all this kibble. Um, can't move to the right at all. Oh, I, now that I think about the head, the articulation is kind of useless because you swivel it to the left and he's staring at his own shoulder piece. You, you can swivel to the right, but this piece here gets, you have to fold this little cab piece up like that or it can only go this far. So despite having a head swivel, it's actually kind of useless. Uh, the weights does still work. The hips do still work. Um, he has a similar problem to Bruticus Maximus, where if you have two of the bulky legs, you are stuck with his legs sticking out like this. But, you know, you can straighten them out and have them, like, standing straight. Uh, you're going to have to use some of the thinner ones for that one, the two thinner of the combined modes. But as far as the torso mode, this is one of the better ones I've seen outside of Combiner Wars. Uh, works better than a lot, most majority of the power core combiners works a lot better than that. I do think of the three torsos, this one's my favorite, between Bruticus, Superion, and this guy. I think this is the best torso, but his other two modes suffer a decent amount for what the heck for it. Plus the transformation, like I said, isn't that fun. The transformation in the torso mode is a lot of fun, but the vehicle, the robot one, not so fun. So... Uh, if, the, if the vehicle, the trans, the robot mode transformation was as fun as this mode, because I don't feel like too many people are going to put him in this mode, because I'll be honest, Constructionist Maximus, or whatever he's called, or Dev Energon Devastator, does not look good. And it's not just because the head, the um, limbs really don't work for him. And I do like the head to an extent, I just wish it didn't have this green stuff stuck around it. But yeah, that's uh, Energon Steam Hammer and his, and his uh, Constructionist Maximus mode. Overall, not a bad figure, but it's it's a lot harder to recommend him than Barricade. If you want just the robot and vehicle mode, go for Barricade. If you want a really good torso mode, I would say go for this one, but mm, the limbs aren't worth it, so it's hard to still even recommend that. So, yeah, he's a very meh figure. If you like if you like how he looks in robot mode and vehicle mode, if you don't mind that, then say pick him up. If it bugs you and you don't like asymmetry or anything, don't go for him. It's pretty middle-of-the-road figure. 
So, this has been Nerdy Transformed. I hope you enjoyed this review, and hope you have a good day. Take care.